Hi guys and welcome back to review number three. Now this is the first review that we're going to be looking at peacock jumping spiders with. Now here we have a small bug box, not a regular bug box or a tall bug box. Um, so this is a small one and in it we have a decent layer of sand, some bark, two fake plants, and a shell as a water dish with two pieces of scorer. Now, I've put together, again, a short video of me putting this enclosure together. So, let's roll that. that short video so here is a spider that they have sent um, for, with, to me to go in this enclosure and this is a coastal peacock jumping spider uh, Maratus speciosus so uh, this spider comes from the sand dunes close to the beaches in Perth. It's quite commonly spread across um, the suburbs in Perth close to the beach. And they hang out on coastal onion grass and coastal sea spinach. Now, this enclosure here replicates that exact environment perfectly for them. So if you're going to get one of these peacock jumping spiders, I highly, highly, I cannot stress to you enough, you should get one of these setups because this is a great setup to keep these guys in. And it, yeah, it's just great. So it's got the fine white sand. And during the night, these guys will actually bury themselves under the sand to sleep. So if you notice that they disappear during the night, chances are they probably haven't escaped and that they've just buried themselves under the sand and that the following morning you'll see him above ground uh, you know, being his normal jumpy self so without further ado let's put our new jumping spider in his new enclosure now this is what they call a comfy cup this is where they've hot glue gunned uh, mesh to the side of the enclosure bit of sphagnum moss in the middle and they put a bit of paper towel and paper in the center uh, just to keep the spider safe from shipping. So I'm just going to take this piece of paper out. Just remember to be careful with their peacock jumping spiders because they are still fragile animals. There he goes. So it's probably a little bit hard to see him at the moment. He'd probably only be a speck. So I have filmed some more close-up footage of him. And let's roll that footage. footage um, so if you're wanting to know what to feed these guys I feed all of my peacock jumping spiders 
teeny uh, size crickets. You can purchase them at uh, big pet store retailers local to your area, or you can purchase them online on Bug Frenzy's website. Again, either way, it's whatever you want to do uh, across with all these bugs. So that wraps up our review number three. So let's move on to review number four.